What's up? Good morning. Happy weekend, everyone. We've been talking, obviously, about SHIB for a very long period of time, and something we've paid attention to a lot as we've started to climb our way out of this bear market cycle has been whales and what whales are doing. And there has been this consistent theme that has been happening as we've we've begun to climb, and that is that whales are, in fact, buying and holding for the long term. Now, why I say that and what makes this apparent is the amount of SHIB that is actually leaving exchanges. So what we saw was actually over the last 24 hours, there was another 237 billion SHIB that was removed from exchanges. And this actually followed Ju uh, Justin Sun, founder of Tron, removing 577 billion as well. So over the past few days, we're talking 814 billion SHIB leaving exchanges. Now you might say that this is nothing. Some people may not get this, but here's the thing. Exchanges are the places with the most liquidity, the easiest place to buy and sell, least amount of slippage. And what you'll notice is that a lot of these large entities, what they're doing is they're buying and they're pulling off exchanges. They're going into self-custody. They're preparing for a longer hold time. If they weren't, they would just leave it on exchanges. But this has been a theme that has been consistent, consistent, consistent. You know, if we actually look here over the last month, there was actually several other whales that did the same thing. Two unknown whales sent 850 billion SHIB and 543 billion SHIB from the world's large, largest exchange to their wallet addresses. And again, this is that transition from the bear market to the bull market, the transition from the hands of the impatient to the hands of the patient. It, it's all happening, right? And it's funny. I, I'll, you know, I like it. Like I've said many times, I read all the comments and it's still funny to see some people saying that, oh yeah, nothing's happening. And people don't grasp this, this shift, all right? This is why people miss out on opportunity. It's why people miss out on bull markets. It's because they, they simply don't get it. They're too blinded by their own thoughts and beliefs and they don't pay attention to the analytics. They don't pay attention to the actual data that we are giving, given. It's the reason why I've said that, you know, price is a bad indicator during a, a bear market cycle because price can be easily manipulated, low liquidity, not a whole lot going on. But when you are doing these sorts of things, when you have whales that are buying and holding long term, when you have optics that are good, when you are taking steps forward in terms of development, these are all great things and they lead tor towards long term, better price performance. Now, I will say this right now is not that price performance time. People need to temper their expectations. So, you know, these guys removing 814 billion SHIB off the exchange, it's it's not gonna make a huge price impact, if any at all, at this time. But where you start to see this is as we get into a bull market cycle, as we get past the halving, as we get into alt season, that's where these things are gonna play the biggest effect. Guys, the biggest effect in price, the, the fastest rise you're going to see is in the back half of 2025. As always, this is not financial advice, but if you look at charts in the past, the most rip-roaring runs were done basically in the last few months leading to the height of the bull market, and then we went back down. That is where you're gonna see the most explosive gains. Right now, it's, it's all just stepping stones. These are baby steps, guys. It's still gonna take time, but we are going to get to those times, and I hope everybody's prepared. So appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic weekend. I'm going to be doing a bit of traveling uh, over the next couple of days here, but still obviously going to get the content to you guys. I know it's important that everybody stay updated with what's going on. So have a great day. Show your love below and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.